Dobro pejara vatna uroki for tutorial with me, Aubrey. This is going to be a very interesting lesson. Katdila, hope you're doing well. Uh, even as even as we start, I am requesting that you subscribe to the channel. You leave a like, share, comment on what you would want me to do in our next video. All right, and uh, yeah, so today. We have a very interesting lesson, as you can see on the screen. Uh, let me see. As you can see on the screen, we are asked to show that f of t, which exists in this interval, or which is defined in this interval, also which, also which f of t is a complex number, then the integral from a to b of f of d to t is less than or equal to the integral of the absolute value of f of t dt. This is a very, very interesting lesson. All right, so let's dive into the lesson. So things that we need to note. f of t is a complex number, hence it can be written as u plus iv. And in polar form, it can be written as r e to the i theta. All right. We also need to know that f of t will give us that. We we'll have a real part plus an imaginary part. And after integrating f of t, okay, after integrating f of t, we are going to have a real part and an imaginary part like that. After integrating f of t, we're always going to have a real part and an imaginary part, of which this real part and an imaginary part can be written in polar form as that. All right, so we have established these facts. <clears throat> so we can say, we can make, uh, we can get, we can make R the subject of a formula here. We can make R the subject of a formula by multiplying both sides by the inverse of e to the i theta. When we do that on both sides, we get this. Okay, we multiply e to the i theta on both sides. We're trying to make R the subject of a formula here. We multiply these both sides. We get R equals to that, and that will be our equation one. Okay. That would be our equation one, r is equals to e to the i theta f of t dt, e to the negative i theta f of t dt. And since we have found r to be that, we know of another way that we can find r. So this r has come from this expression. There is another way we can solve for r, and we know that since the integral of f of t dt can be written as u plus iv, r is equals to... Okay. All right. So, yeah. So we have that. And we can call that our equation 2. r is equals to that. So now what we can essentially do is we, we can equate the two equations. We can equate the two equations because r is equals to this and r is equals to that. And um, what we are going to get is the modulus will be equal to the, that. So we'll create the two equations that are representing R. And from here, we have um, f of t. Now let's look at this relationship right here. This times f of t. Okay, f of t is a complex number, which means can be written as u plus iv, and in polar form can be written as e to the r e to the i theta. Now, when we multiply this and this, or this and that, we see that the negative i theta and the positive i theta will cancel out. We're just going to have one here, all right? And what we'll remain with is r, which is the real part of the complex function, all right? We're just going to remain with r. And that is to say, multiplying these two gives us the real part of the multiplication. That is what we mean. So multiplying those two just give us the real part of the multiplication, all right? And we can say this, 
this. All right. Yeah. We can say we can replace uh, with the real part here. We can just say this is equals to the real part of its multiplication. So, which is the real part of its multiplication with respect to t. All right. Now, what do we know about the real part of 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 a function f of z. So the real part of f of z, or the function z, is always less than the modulus of the function z. This is true, you can test it out, and there is a proof for that. If you want me to do a proof on this uh, inequality, um, comment that in the comment box. So yeah, so this is true. So now, if we were to replace the real part of z, if we were to replace it here with this, okay, it means we are going to have the module, the integral from a to b. If you can see that, let me move it. All right, the integral from a to b, which is equal to the integral of the real part of e to the i theta f of t d theta, will be less than the integral from a to b of the modulus of e to the negative i theta, okay, f of theta dt. So essentially, because of this inequality, this will be less than this. The real part is less than the modulus of that. So now, essentially, if this is equal to this and this is less than this, then this is also less than that. Okay, so that is how we establish that fact. So now from here we can say integral from f of t less than f of t dt. And uh, notice how we've written the, the product here. Notice how we've written the product of e to the i theta. The product here can be written as the modulus of each of the products, of each of the variables like that. So now what is the modulus of e to the negative i theta like that. So now this is equals to the modulus of course negative theta plus i sine negative theta of which when we apply the definition of the modulus we're going to have the root of cos squared negative theta plus i sine squared negative theta which is just giving us one which will just be one all right would we just be one? Okay, hope you can see would we just be one. So essentially it means here this is just one. So we can replace one here. Replacing one there, we're just going to have the modulus of t dt less than the modulus of t. And that proves our identity. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment on